Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, folks. It is Pino Black, the one, the only. Anyhow, uh, you got the time, and always down here in the right corner on the toolbar, and you can tell your dates and times here. And there's your auroral, and uh, off a little bit on the north. We were dead center a lot last week. Later in the week, it started taking off on the north a little bit on the weekend. We're still ass end off on the on the our butt end as we go through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour, about 6,000 miles an hour above the, our average of 60,000 miles an hour. And if you watch the clouds move away in the evening, if they will move away from the sun, if you watch the, your jet stream uh, haul an ass, I'd love to get up in a jet and hit the jet stream and go east, ladies and gentlemen, in North America. Ask any pilot. Very strange. Not really too much. There used to be, if we're looking at the United States, matter. I got a quick map right here off the Aurora map. There used to be a layer that would jet stream out of from Tokyo that would come in and there was actually a clean stream that would actually come off the Detroit Lakes or up the northern part and would keep the uh, what you know to be CPM and RADS and if you want to use code when you're talking to people out there you can go CPU and ADS or ADS and CPU if you want to talk politically correct among adults out there don't tell children about it they don't need to know anything until they get to be 18 okay so basically up here and if kids are listening in here you need to go talk to your mom at home and or your dad at home and it's something you just talk about at the house you don't talk about anywhere else so anyway you got CPU and ads problems, okay? The idea the advertisers aren't spending enough money on ads and your computer's always got CPU issues, okay? CPM and RADS, Fino Black, the truth 24-7. Okay, so there used to be a uh, trade wind, a jet stream that would run somewhere off of the east here and would clean out from about, oh, the North Dakota, South Dakota border and a little higher. Okay. Now, when they had nuclear crimes, uh, there is nuclearcrimes.net.org is out there, I believe. So let me, I'll do a search before this video is done. I know there's lots of times I say I'll go look at something. Sometimes it just is it's like uh, 15 minutes and then it's not really that important to go look at something and do that. And plus, you've got the internet to go look yourself. That's what Bino always tries to get everybody to go ahead and look at data, look at what I'm showing you, and then go look what is out there. And t let me know when someone's not showing you something. And we've had people show stuff on volcano action and all, a lot of stuff that people are taking an eraser to the chalkboard. And that's not a good teacher. Okay. So uh, there used to be a northern jet stream that would clean out uh, from about Bismarck uh, Interstate 93 up. Okay. All the way across Montana and everything like that. Back when they did the test back in you know, the Cold War and after World War II and stuff like that, okay? And they had the big, I mean, we had the big screw-up by the way. They never should have let that bomb off in, in Nevada uh, with the troops standing there. It took us a while to figure out nuclear energy, but we've learned very quickly, and then they were stupid enough to put uh, nuclear reactors in about the biggest plutonium banking of used plutonium in the world on the ring of fire over in Japan and then we've seen what happened. Now you gotta watch that 188 day cycle. As you know, I just brought up my earthquake thing and I hadn't even been looking at it over the weekend. Basically had a couple of uh, potential ladies in my life. So basically we've got uh, 3.1 here that more than likely like I say in my videos you gotta watch what they might have took off so this could probably be a three and a half uh, even if it's honest, it's a 3.1 and it's on the East Coast, okay? 3.0 out here is not too much. Uh, we'll see on the data and stuff like that. That 5.3 up here, you can pretty much bet that that thing was high, close to 6. At least a 5.7 or something, because as much as USGS has been taking off the quakes, unless they put out a disclaimer that, hey, you know, we ain't going to do that no more, and we did have done that, we've caught them doing it, okay? I've caught them doing it at, at Australia. I caught them doing it in Mexico, and I caught them doing it in uh, a quake over in uh, down by Australia, out in the ocean there, the seven point something uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Okay, well, there's so many quakes and earthquakes and stuff. It's just basically, it's a seven, it was a seven point something, and they lied about that. 
and there was an RSOE original uh, tsunami warning. Okay, someone jumped the gun. That's fine. A little bit of caution is better than nothing. People are getting used to the practice of doing it. Hopefully, they won't fall asleep doing it. You know, basically get up, go to high ground if you got it. A tsunami alert. Yeah, uh, it's not worth losing your life, drowning, or losing those photos or whatever you want to take with you. A uh, small amount of the most precious, important things. You know, human life and some photos or whatever. So uh, we got a 4.5 down there. Alaska had that. I think I clicked on this, and we'll click on it. And we'll go to it, and we'll see what we've got going on for earthquake activity for over the weekend. Okay, so here we go with uh, USGS. And I apologize none to any agency because the idea that the graph hits, the graphs of what it, what it is, okay? And then they average it down, and I know what their explanation. They're not going to put words in their mouth because basically they're going to reword it to make me look wrong by saying it. But you're going to hear what they'll say about how well it's, it has to level out in this area between the, I'll just make an, you know, you got two lines, like if we got uh, here on, and they'll show you on a graph, and they're going to go, well, we have to wait till it calms down. No, when a quake hits, it hits, okay? So whatever the hell it hits at, it hit at it. That's that's how high it is, okay? I don't I didn't mind when they took one or two ticks off, but when they're taking three or four ticks off, a bunch of horse hockey, shiite, okay? Okay, and you got Molly, Chile, there's 7.1 this weekend, so... Be interesting to go see what that is, and maybe we'll just do a little search too and see what happened there in Chile down south. That is your continent, ladies and gentlemen. Chile's down there. Everything's down there. Uh, coca beans, everything's down there. We love South America. It's America. So anyway, this is all the activity. Not getting to anything on anything here. We just go skip down to the end of the deal. So we know that this one happened at the same time that they had the seven point something, I believe, or there was one over in Indonesia or something that basically happened the same time that they had the one in Mexico. Yeah, 7.4 and 6.2. And, uh, you know, they ended up saying it was a 7.1, and basically it hit it at 7.6 to begin with, and they just took two ticks off. But uh, a lot of reports show a 7.1. And then they took it off the graph because they didn't want you to know in America, basically, because that's South America, that the idea that we had a 7.4 for damn sure, and actually it was a 7.6 when it hit. Okay. So we'll go take a look and bleed some truth on Papua New Guinea and see what we get with that because I think that was the one, wasn't it, 6.6 .6 there? Or no, there was another one, what we had over the weekend. I'm, I'm gonna, I apologize to anybody in Papua New Guinea, but you know what's going on down there. Let's go take a look at the 7.6. Okay, uh, a word of warning, and basically this was last year, okay, it was September, uh, we'll get a date here when we go through this report here, but I want to remind people about Alaska, which basically on the state side here basically went really quiet, and anybody that's up there, you know, everybody's going to get a little nervous when, they're, when their legs are shaking, especially when the ground shakes, when the idea that you've never known it to shake before. I lived out in California for a while, okay, go Cali, okay, got friends out there, got enemies out there too. It's funny how the world works when everybody becomes your friend, isn't it? So anyhow, the idea that there was a 7.1 up in Alaska, I, th I think you guys probably remember me mentioning it, and there basically there was a tsunami warning for that one, okay? So don't fall asleep on the tsunami warnings. Take your pictures. That's what I would say that with, with me. That's usually what I always take is take the pictures and go to whatever. You see what I'm saying? Uh that's something that's hard to replace is pictures unless you've got negatives put away somewhere. That's a good idea. Hard drive, disk somewhere. Remember, magnetic. So the idea that it's always nice to have something on 35 millimeter, okay? Uh, saved away somewhere and stuff like that because magnetics, folks, uh, lots of stuff can get erased, okay? Magnetically, okay? Uh, this was a 7.1 up there in Alaska. It had a tsunami warning and everything like that. Let me go to a date. And the lady here more than likely knows her name and thank you or everything like that. But she works. She got paid to do this report and stuff like that because this is from a news agency, I believe. So it's September 2nd, 2011. And basically, I think she probably put that out the same day it happened, I think. I'm not positive. But whether it happened September 1st or September 2nd of last year, okay, that uh, it did happen up there. And actually, if I remember right, I do believe that I could be... 
I, I could be quoted wrong on this, but I believe that if I remember right, that we, we were people were going like, what the hell? It was a 7.3 and it's a 7.1. Now, I could be wrong on that, and just by the idea that what they're screwing around with so far this year has got it blazed into my mind that they're screwing off tick. But we did know that last year that a lot of people knew that they were taking one tick off a lot of the quakes, okay, to begin with. So then we got used to that, and it was okay. When the quake hits, a magnetometer, it's just like when I'm doing a voltage check, uh, when it hits, if I get a spike, and let me go show you that on Solar Artist. Hang on one second. And it's just like this, folks. When it hits, when it spikes, it spikes. Okay. So when a quake, now this is the uh, this is the sun, and we're showing you a cross phase that just hit. Okay. The, I mean, basically, this is a fresh data, and you got your dates and time right down there, and everything like that. Okay. So this is cross phasing at that time on the 25th. Okay. So this is yesterday's data. Okay, and this was the sun, and then we'll go up here and show you the marble action. So the idea when these quakes hit, and basically this, they got everything monitored down to a 7.1. Since I was giving you the truth, and most people will be a smart ass and say, well, he's giving you the bunk. I'm not giving you the bunk. This is bunk to bunk, and that's where they get bunk from. Is uh, brass is always brass ass, and the military has always said, well, it's bunk talk. It's you know you're talking in your bunks, and it's a bunch of bull. And we will tell you. You are on a need-to-know basis, and we will tell you what you need to know. Well, Bino is a USA citizen, and Bino will tell you what you want to know, okay? And basically, just give you fresh data. And basically, I'm talking to the brass ass, the brass, everything. I'm talking to U.S. ex-military, in, retired, vet, American citizen, tax-paying mofos. We love this country. So anyhow... You got the marks that we are seeing on the sun there and there, and to be exact, you just seen it as we rolled through. You got this. Now we have seen that triangulated thing that we have seen rise and set behind the sun. Is it doing a stamp and a roll job on the sun? We don't know, but we see these marks that are going on on the sun. Okay, these roller marks. Now you've been seeing that. Uh, we'll go back up here, and you will see it as we go across. And these are fresh shots. Go across to the right, and you will see. And we get that triangulated big stamp, like a big old anvil uh, press and close iron. Okay, and then you get the roll around that we see on the sun, the tread marks that are going around. Swirl, swirl, swirl. You know, yes, the CME is going this, and they boom, boom, and then it's electrical and. Oh, they talk about that lately, and then they start filling you full of crap about being tornadoes on the... There's vortex of smoke heat off of when the sun does its electrical snaps in the heat and the flame, ladies and gentlemen. There ain't no flipping tornadoes on the goddamn sun. What those are heat vortexes because the idea that it snaps, they get a CME, a flare, or anything, and then it's a little cool for a little bit, and you get a vortex tornadoes on the sun and oh we're timing them their speed and everything like yeah they probably did but they're not flipping tornadoes the sun is burning all the time tornadoes are on earth vacuum hot cold air boom you suppress them for a long time you're going to get a tornado big one big hail okay we do weather modification it exists harp exists go to dutch sense find out everything uh they've took the chat off of youtube too much truth getting out ladies and gentlemen we modify weather you know they've been chemtrailing we got good air conditioning working and hopefully pray everybody needs to pray because we need food and we want to make sure that all the farmers have good luck for this harvest okay and any harvest to come infinity hope uh always pray it always helps anything helps so you got uh, the bright side the sun at the super giants and everything like that and we have the cme action let's go take a look at this cme action here So here we come down, and we got Earth. You'll see what you know by the looking at it and everything like that. Now you're going to see these CMEs that are going to come off here to th this portion. See that? That's new because the last video, if you look in the last data we showed you, we were getting CME, CME higher up this way, up towards Stereo A. That's Stereo A, our satellite up there. Taxpayers, you paid for it. All these satellites out there, these squares are all satellites out in space, and this is B behind is getting the action now. Okay, and the Earth is still getting CME action. When we're in this colorization, we're getting CME action. That's static electricity on our Earth's aurora. Okay, we're not in the blue ocean where it's nice and clean when you get the blue. Okay, and the different shades of blue are actually a little bit because when you start getting towards the, the this is outside mist of a CME. When you see that blue having these shades going to green, that's an outside. That's electrical energy coming out. You static. Okay, the clear blue without having it 
basically this this dark blue is where it's nice and clean and safe otherwise we've got all kinds of CME action electrical action going through space so the next video more than likely I'll have shots of the Sun will go in and set you and